Noah's flood really happened, and here's a proof given by Robert Ballard. Noah's flood really took place, and here's the evidence. Could the story of Noah's Ark be true? Robert Ballard, director and professor of oceanography at the University of Rhode Island's Institute of Oceanographic Archaeology, best known for his research work in underwater archaeology, which has become world famous for the discoveries and locations of the Titanic wreck, claims to have found evidence of a great flood that occurred around 5,600 BC in the Dead Sea area. A flood of apocalyptic proportions, just like the biblical tradition of Noah's Ark, may have actually happened, so stated Robert Ballard in an interview with ABC's News, who, with his team, found evidence showing that the great flood described in the Bible could be based on true events. Ballard started with the controversial theory of the two researchers from Columbia University that the Black Sea is the most obvious evidence of the flood, accounts from the Old Testament and with many other sacred texts of ancient cultures. Ballard explains about 12,000 years ago, this as we remember, 12, 13,000 years ago was the Younger Dryas event and the uh, comet impact on Earth. And he says, 12,000 years ago, much of the world was covered in ice and the Black Sea was a large freshwater lake surrounded by farmland. Around 5,600 BC, when the glaciers began to melt during a period of global warming, a huge amount of water began to fall into the oceans, causing massive floods around the world. That was the mother of all floods. The famous oceanographer's research is followed by a 1997 study by Ryan and Walter Pittman, who, based on archaeological and anthropological findings, estimate that 16 cubic kilometers of water escaped every day while the flood continued for at least 300 days. More than 60,000 kilometers of land were flooded and the lake level rose hundreds of meters, causing the mass migration of many species across Europe. According to two researcher studies, the force of the water was 200 times greater than that of Niagara Falls, sweeping away everything in its path. I've been to Niagara Falls and the, you know, the, the amount of force the water comes down with is enormous. Now, the results are supported by carbon dating and images taken with underwater sonar. The implication is that the story of Noah's flood could be based on this historical event. We went to the place to look for evidence of the flood. The soils are still sinking there, Ballard tells ABC News. In fact, the team found an ancient sunken beach about 122 meters below the surface of the Black Sea, which is evidence of the ancient flood. Analyzing seashells found underwater along the coast using carbon dating, Ballard believes the flood may have occurred around 5,600 BC. It was probably an awesome event, Ballard said, in an instant, nearly 150,000 square kilometers of Earth are submerged, nullifying thousands of human lives, animals, and plants. Perhaps this event was the biblical story of Noah. In the book of Genesis, God mourns human corruption and decides to flood the Earth to renew it. God instructs Noah to build the legendary ark, his boat, and will save his family and several species of animals. In the Bible, the ark is described as a large tank, 300 cubits long and about 140, that's about 140 meters. In addition to Ballard's team, another team has found the remains of an ancient shipwreck. It's unlikely to be Noah's Ark. Over the past 200 years, rumors and claims of sightings and discoveries have abounded, but there is no scientific evidence to prove its existence. The discovered wreck dates back to 500 BC, the heart of the classical period, Ballard says, but we don't give up. He also hopes to find evidence of people from the time who were swept away by the flood. It's foolish to think we can find the ark, Ballard says. We may be able to find evidence of the people who lived in this area and their villages that are now underwater. That's assuming that their bones are not uh, 
get uh, dissolved, done away with. Uh, this I've translated from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.